is ready to say goodbye to a part of her property that's been passed down for generations. That property her childhood home once sat on now caught up on a $14 million state widening project. News Channel Line's Alyssa Sparato joins us now from where that woman and other property owners are meeting with state administrators on the project. Alyssa. That's right, Calvin and Latricia. That meeting starts in a little under a half hour here at Cleveland Middle School. As you can see out here, there are several state vehicles. They've been coming in and out trying to get that room set up for those residents. Now there's about five or six cars here in the parking lot. We're about to go in here once this meeting starts here at 530. Now take a look at this map. This is where that project is. It's a 2.56 mile stretch of road that starts at Georgetown Road Northwest, just north of I-75 and goes all the way down to State Route 306. And Earlier today, we spoke to one of those property owners that's of one out of 118 property owners involved in this project, and she says she fears she's about to lose part of her childhood. Johnny Maupin once played in this yard as a child. Well, my granddaddy owned it, and then my mother took care of him. Now it's hers and full of these stakes marked by the Tennessee Department of Transportation. Well, it makes you sad. Knowing that, you know, you own property, but they can take it whether you want them to or not. You just have to go along with them. Moppin's property is one piece of land of 118. TDOT set their sights on for the project that would take this road from two lanes to, in some places, five. Moppin found out about TDOT's intentions a few weeks ago after getting the certified letter in the mail. Well, it makes you sad. It really does. You think back over the years, you know. TDOT says when it's all said and done, roughly 14 households could have to find a new place to live. And for Carolyn Webb, a woman who's lived on Maupin's land for nearly 28 years. I feel scared for her, Miss Maupin. She's a wonderful landlady. Great. I'm sorry. It's the unknown of what's next that Webb isn't ready to face. I just feel sad it's going to be all gone. But I know it's got to be. I know it has. But that's the way life is. <sighs> Sorry. And again, that meeting starting here at Cleveland Middle School around 530. Miss Maupin going to be one of the property owners here that are attending. We're going to go inside here and attend this meeting at 530. We'll tell you what some of the residents and TDOT has to say coming up on News Channel 9 at 6. Reporting live at Cleveland Middle, Melissa Sperado, News Channel 9. Thank you, Alyssa. TDOT says that project is expected to get more money for the actual construction in 2019. There's no set completion date just yet.